Why do you think, uh, over centuries, we keep coming back to the Dr. Jekyll story? It's interesting, because I, I said in a rushed interview the other day, I said it was the first gothic horror. But, but missing the bit, it was the first gothic horror to be filmed. Mm. And I think that tells you in 1906 or something, Frankenstein was a few years later. Because, of course, on film, the transformation moment, it's a perfect film trick. When you think those early movies with the train coming at the screen and people running out of the theatre, it was the first time you could do that kind of transformation. So I think people would always keep coming back to it. And really, in the last generation or so, they've not wanted to use the name. They've dressed it up as other things, but it really is... I mean, almost all the Hammer things have characters with two sides. But Dr. Jekyll kind of wrote the book, whether it's, you know, Frankenstein, is it more evil side, whether the, the wolf man with his normal side without the moon. It's the, the, those dichotomies, I think, are the most interesting bit. And Jekyll and Hyde really is the, the start of that, that split. Absolutely. And how do you go about bringing it to a modern audience with like the modern um, aspects of it? Because obviously the Victorian era, it was all about repressed masculinity. And now we've got a different kind of beast nowadays. Uh, well, you'll have to see the movie. I'll give too much away on that, that question. But I think you might guess from the casting, we've got an interesting angle on the whole thing, to say the least. Hammer's done quite a few different adaptations of the Jekyll and Story. What is it different about this one? Modern day takes takes the idea if you think about the all the kind of mad billionaires that we have around the world now that we all talk about and read in the press nina jekyll is one of those characters so whereas before jekyll was very hidden in the back streets the doctor up to no good this is a this is a person with a a, a known public persona that this is going on with Amazing. And I uh, just want to talk about uh, bringing Hammer into modern audiences. Hammer's got such an incredible horror legacy. How does it feel um, releasing another film for modern audiences? Uh, it, it's a huge honour. And we're so lucky this worked out in such a short period of time. I mean, really very, very lucky. It's just, uh, I mean, the idea that in August we had no deal and here we are in October at the Odeon Leicester Square is kind of amazing, really. Kind of perfect for Halloween as well. Of course, and that's what Joe, the director, said, I don't think there's much going on for Halloween in the UK. He went, oh, we all looked at each other via Zoom, of course, and went, OK, let's see if we can do it by Halloween. Great, amazing. And final question, why does it feel working with Eddie Izzard on this project as well? Well, I've known Eddie for a long time, so I wasn't there during the shoot. I kind of came afterwards when. Eddie, this is amazing. This is really amazing. So, you know, but I've dealt with him through various movies we've done together. And obviously he comes to Broadway quite a lot. So, you know, we have a very, very long relationship. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.